This is Mike Regan with Transax 2 Minute Warning. We have a really important question for you. Is your company prepared to see its freight rates go up by as much as 25 to 30% over the next two to three years? Last week, I had the opportunity to attend a great session that was hosted by CSCMP in New Orleans. Personally, the highlight of the trip for me was going to see the NASA manufacturing facility, 43 acres and two and a half million square feet of space under one roof for making the rockets and a lot of the stuff that goes into the NASA space program. Now, we also had the opportunity to have some sessions where we heard from great resources about what's going on in the economy and some issues affecting the supply chain. We then broke out into separate groups and we were asked this question, what are some of the greatest threats to a company's supply chain in logistics and transportation areas? Well, when the answers came back, you know, we heard about the usual stuff, labor recruitment, intent, retention, personnel, extremely important. The other thing, the threat of disruption and how you protect your supply chain. And that led to the topic about supply chain resiliency. But after it was all done, I raised my hand and I said, you know, it's kind of interesting. You're talking about recruitment and resiliency, all important stuff, but you're missing something that could have a really significant significant impact on your supply chain and your freight costs. People were like, well, what's that? I said, right now, there are three things going on that could be major hits to the carriers, which would result in them jacking up their rates in a big way. First is the impact of nuclear verdicts on judgments being awarded by courts in litigation involving trucks. The big one there was Warner getting tagged for $100 million for an accident they had nothing to do with causing. Pickup truck came across a median on an interstate, hit the Warner truck, somehow, some way, they were found guilty of that. Now, the second thing that's out there is the issue of the independent contractor rules. Now, out in California, that's known as AB5, but the Biden administration has been pushing some rules, which a lot of industry groups feel would have a really chilling effect on the driver population. A lot of drivers don't want to work for somebody else. They like being independent contractors. The third thing, though, is the cost estimate for the electrification and clean air initiatives that the trucking industry is going to be asked to shoulder. It could be upwards of a trillion dollars for an industry that in its entirety is only $850 billion. What does this mean? Potentially much higher rates. Talked to a couple of carrier CEOs. They said, Mike, if the economy picks up, all bets are off. Shippers will see their rates skyrocket. Now, there are some things that you can do to protect yourself. You need to talk to us about our supply chain rapid assessment and our LTL strategic assessment because in that process. We can identify things that you can do that result in you getting the best possible rates and to mitigate the impact of these increases. Now, if you're interested, send me a note, give me a call, or let's hook up on Calendly because with each and every two-minute warning, we're here to remind you we are on your team. We're here to help. We're passionate about seeing you be successful. Thanks for your time.